Hey, I think we've got some listener questions, Alfie. Can you help me out with those? Oh, us? of course. We, we've Thank got you. a whole bunch of them here yeah, for this, you, sir. This segment, we've got a lot. Yeah, yep. let's. Uh, Joey in Norcross, uh, he writes in and says, I read that the requirement for appraisals has been removed for loans up to $400,000. Why is my lending uh, lender ordering an appraisal for my refinance? So, Uh-oh. Joey, mm-hmm. um, I thought the same thing when in late September... Uh, these real estate publications were making a big deal out of the appraisal requirement being move, removed for loans up to 400000 And I'm thinking, how on earth are they going to be able to get away for that, with that? And, Joey, it is not the kind of loan you're thinking. It is, when, and it is for a loan where an FDIC-insured bank is loaning money on a residential property. So meaning when an FDI-insured bank, like your local lo- little local bank, uh, is loaning money to you for a second mortgage or a first mortgage on your home, it does not pertain to loans made by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, USDA, more than likely a very, very small pool of loans uh, that this applies to. And so more than likely, if you're getting a refinance, you're probably getting a refinance for a loan that's owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, two big entities uh, that are basically today owned by the U.S. government. I don't think that's going to to last for long. I think they're going to be independent organizations again soon. Uh, But you will have the need for an appraisal, and it's because it's an FHA, a VA, a USDA, a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac requirement. So that's a good question. Hmm. That's a good question because when I saw that article, Alfie, I'm thinking, how in the world can they waive appraisal requirements? Because lenders might be loaning money like five hundred thousand on something that's worth three hundred fifty (laughs) thousand. And I assume they have some automated valuation models. They have some computer models that are helping out with values. And I think that we probably will see some appraisal requirements waived or changed on loans in the United States over the next few years. But I don't think they're ready to, to, to to eliminate them right now. Uh, Tiffany in Lawrenceville, yep. she writes in and says, how can my association stop me from renting my home? Seems almost un-American. So in some cases, Tiffany, they can't, but in most cases they can. So I don't remember what the date is, but let's say it's late 1980s or early 1990s. Georgia changed its homeowners association law. And basically you have homeowners associations that come before this date and then property owners associations after. The homeowners associations, um, you have to have, you know, bylaws and and kind of all this agreed stuff in writing. And basically your ability to own the home um, comes from the homeowners association. It sounds weird, but the state has a primary interest in the county, then the homeowners association, then you. And it's weird. So your right to own your property is subject to the HOA. Now listen to this, Alfie, though, after 88 or 92 or whatever the date is, they became property owners associations, which means the homeowners association has a statutory lien on your home, which means nobody can close on a property without proving that there is no money owed. And so they basically uh, have the right to make you follow their rules because they're a little higher in the chain of title for your property.